Yesterday, there were visitors in the city. A film crew from the RTL television station in Germany, my home country, was in Los Angeles. We will accompany them today. Dan Walks LA was walking on Hollywood Boulevard and happened to meet the film crew at Applied Scholastics, a Scientology front group. The film crew later had an appointment with William Goode, also known as Streets LA, at the Scientology Test Center in Hollywood. The film team was very pleased to find someone they could ask questions to. The reporter had a lot of questions and Dan had a lot of answers. Scientology is a human trafficking organization. They are not a religion. They abuse elders, they traffic children, um, and they just have terrible policies that break apart families and literally destroy lives. And when you want to get out of it, you are left with nothing. You have to pick up the pieces, they'll harass you for the rest of your life and go after your family as well. And I'm standing up for the children that don't have a voice who grew up in the cult. Uh, I have many friends who left the cult. And Dan is asked why there are no more recruiters on the road. I know it because the protesters are doing a good job. Right, my little one. But let's hear what Dan has to say. Well, the test center that you're describing down the street at McCadden is actually still operating. But because of the protests, because of the attention that they've received, most of the body routers out on the cross, the, the sidewalks, gone inside or have gone to other locations. There's many protesters who have appeared at many of these old, old buildings. You know, we're all individuals. And uh, Scientology has noticed. And they're shaking in their boots and... You know, we're just going to keep at it until they go away because the city rejects them. Boris, what group are you guys with? So we are for, work for a German TV network. Oh, fantastic. RTL. Excellent. Do you know um, William? William? William Hughes? Yes, of course. Streets LA. Yeah, so we're going to meet him like uh, at 6. Oh, amazing. Uh, RTL Germany is the group's largest business unit and Germany's first cross-media champion. Operating in the areas of TV, streaming, radio, digital, and publishing. Did you find this on the internet? Yes, I found that on the internet. But even if the RTL media group is big, the RTL channel is just one of many. I am very curious to see how big this report will be. I'll keep you posted when I discover the report. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's your name? Lucas. Lucas, yeah. that's right, yeah. that's right. Awesome. Pleasure. Daniel, right? Yes, yes. So it is still operating, but they have the blinds down and the people are off of the street, off of the sidewalk, recruiting people in because of the protesters. They're trying to protect their identities and everything like that, but they still are open and functioning. So people can walk in there, you know, and we always advise people, especially when we're outside protesting, like go in and waste their time. Absolutely go in and troll them, but uh, don't give your real information, of course. Now, Germany banned Scientology, is that correct? Or do they have organizations there? They have organizations. They do. A, I think it's not an official church. It's more like an okay. organization. Whatever. But they still have a presence. So. Interesting. Okay. I can tell you how Scientology is seen in Germany because a clear picture of Scientology is published by the German government and by the relevant organizations. The Scientology organization is not only a danger to the individual, but also calls the political system in Germany into question. According to Hubbard's ideas, which are still binding for all Scientologists today, a world is to be created that functions exclusively according to Scientological guidelines. Scientology wants to replace the principle of democracy and fundamental rights with a totalitarian system of rule based on pseudo-technologies and the unconditional subordination of the individual to the Scientological leadership. In Germany, the Scientology organization has been monitored by the Office for the Protection of the Constitution in several federal states since 1997 on the basis of a decision by the Conference of Interior Ministers. The reports clearly show that the organization's program and activities are not compatible with the basic principles of the free democratic order. People who undergo the Scientology system change their personality considerably. Trapped in the organization's course system, they develop an addictive desire for further courses, which can cost the individual up to several hundred thousand dollars. The result is often not only financial ruin, but also complete control by the organization. Social and professional ties are destroyed. But Scientology exists as an organization and people continue to be lured to join the group. There are not many who fall for it, but they do exist. Do you know when Dan started the protest? Yes, I even saw it when Dan started protesting. He's going to tell it now. When did I start? Yeah. Uh, back in early March. Early okay. March. Um, long ago. Yeah, and I can explain how I started, which was, I don't know if you heard about the billboard story outside of the big blue building. This is the Aftermath Foundation billboard Dan is talking about. 
So there's an organization called the Aftermath Foundation, which when you want to leave Scientology, they'll help you find housing, they'll give you money, they'll give you shelter, you know, food, resources, whatever you need. So the Aftermath Foundation had put up a billboard outside of the blue building with giant Scientology on it. Scientology raised cranes and a scissor lift to block the billboard and actually threatened the company, the billboard company, to oh, remove it. So we are in front of Applied Scholastics, one of Scientology's many front groups. This one is geared towards children, tutoring and educating children based on the works of L. Ron Hubbard, the Scientology cult founder. Uh, this place indoctrinates children into the cult. They use L. Ron Hubbard's study technology and methods all his materials. Scientologists actually think that children are adults in small bodies who have had several lifetimes and have refound their parents. That's what Scientology thinks. This place is not for free. It does not serve the community. They indoctrinate children and it's very dangerous. Children cannot consent. That's it, plain and simple. Scientology sees children as adults in small bodies. It's a skewed perspective on the world. Children are not getting the care that they need. This place is not serving the community. It's just a front group to make money for Scientology. After Dan had answered a lot of questions and the film crew had repeatedly carried out new shots for the shoot with him, we moved on to the next location. Dan really answered a lot of questions and I understood everything. That's great, my little one. I also think Dan provided good material for an anti-Scientology movie. It's a cult! <laughs> I just like to scream, it's a cult. Okay. All their open windows, let them hear it. It's a cult! After a while with more questions, they went to the next location. The film crew had an appointment with Streets LA at the test center to interview him. Oh, that's the man who always says goofy. That's right, my little one. I like it when he says goofy. Scientology plays extremely loud music, which I had to filter out, to damage the live streamer with copyright music. In this case, the film crew is also affected by not getting a clean sound recording. Will is questioned about the Scientology test center and told how it has developed over the last few months. This place was open for decades, recruiting people. They'd have six, eight, nine, ten people out here recruiting people since the 70s, the 80s. And now they're closed. Why now they're they, hiding. Why they because we shut them down. We came out here, we warned the public about exactly what they were about, what they're doing, how it's a cult, how it's a scam, how it's all pseudoscience. We informed people about what to expect. But the word got out there. They got humiliated and now they shut down. This place has been shut down, I think, since January, February now. This is their main recruiting place in all of LA. This is where most of their money would come in from. We shut that down. I just started coming out here independently. I got in a fight with them down the street at another place. They said some things they shouldn't have said to me. What did they mean? They told me to suck their... So I told them I'm going to end your religion. And so I started just come out here protesting like this and warning people. And they called the police on me and called the police on me. And I'd stay out here. And then more people started coming out here. And eventually we had a hundred people out here. More than that, this entire sidewalk was full of people. And they tried to do everything to get us out of there. It didn't work. So now they frosted the windows. You can't even see in the windows anymore. They frosted all the windows. You can't see. They locked their door and it's over. So this is where they're at. It's been like this for like four months. They said they were going to open up again in March. This didn't happen. Because I thought that we were going to go away. We went other places. <laughs> and protested there. And shut those places down one by one. Listen, it's more than just right here. This is happening throughout the country now. There are multiple, a lot of channels. 40, 50, 60 channels in different states that focus on doing just this. So they're, right now, they're in retreat. Right now, they're not bringing in new members. They're losing members. Right now, they're not bringing in new money. So they're struggling. And I don't know how much longer they can last like this. The next stop, later in the evening, is the La Poubelle restaurant. William wants to show the film crew the restaurant, whose owner is a supporter of Scientology and the convicted felon, Danny Masterson. Before we change locations, William tells them about the restaurant and the protest. We don't have to go here. We go to a different place where there's going to be fireworks. A place, there's a restaurant that's connected to Scientology, La Poubelle. The owner of that place 
has had so, okay, my nose broken, cool. has attacked other people, had people falsely arrested. She's trying to sue me to get a restraining order. All this is nonsense. So I'll go up there and we will confront them over there. And we want to prove. That's what, you know, Danny Masterson? I heard of him. He was a Scientologist who got in jail for rape. And she went and defended him in court every day. Went with him arm in arm into court to defend the rape. She wrote a character letter in behalf of him. And his, her lawyer, Represents you know who Zane Maxwell is. Arriving at La Poubelle, various live streamers are interviewed about the protests against Scientology and the restaurant. The restaurant also uses very loud music to prevent the live streamers from streaming live. As so often in the past, guests come out of the restaurant and think they can just grab the camera. Today, it's the same story again. Today, they are reaching for Solomon's camera. Solomon has turned off the sound because of the loud music. She just assaulted me! She just assaulted me! Call the cops! Call the cops! She just assaulted me! She tried to grab my phone! She grabbed my phone! I'm calling, call the cops, call the cops, you assaulted me. He just assaulted a minor right there. She just assaulted me. She just hey, grabbed his hey. phone. She, she got grabbed my the phone, phone. man. She just grabbed his phone, Solomon. Why did you have to assault to a minor? What's up with that? He just assaulted a minor right here. He just assaulted. We already got your picture, though. Hey, we got, hey, we know who you are already. Congratulations to you, lady. You just assaulted a minor. Congratulations to you. I know that's a felony, by the way, in California. The LAPD was called and they came. They went with Solomon to the other side of the car parking lot to take his report. So move me out of the way. Yep. She said, I don't want to be on a public side. Grab your phone. Yep. Support from you. Right? Yeah. She tried to pull it back. Yeah. She, she pushed you the other way. No, she just tried to grab my phone. Yeah. I was just terrified. Yeah, I was very, I'm very terrified of what she did. I, um, I'm a little bit of a terrified in a way. I'm not scared. I'm just terrified of my life. Ever since that happened. Yeah, man, she's gone, so. It doesn't take long before a security guard arrives and chases Cutsy out of the parking lot. Yeah, but I'm trying to protect you now. Huh? You know what parents you were wearing? I don't remember though. I had to feel, I had to protect my friend though, sorry. I'm just recording though. Yeah. The police is here, the police is here. Yeah, I know, but this is a private parking. I, this is this issue happened before. They, you are not allowed no, the police always they always come over here when we call, they always come right here. Yeah, they they, they park here, why can't we do that? Like, I mean, just we feel for protection though, you know? Yeah, they know you cannot like be here. This is private. Yeah, but like I'm recording for my friend. Something happens. What's gonna happen? No, though? No, the police here. I can record though. Something happens. You can record it like. It's far away though. Uh, blue jeans, blue jeans. It's about to be done though. I know. I know, but it's like for for you because they told us if you be here, they gonna arrest you. Oh man, the police can. But right here, they can. They can arrest me. They want though. Dude, they told me to go over here. Huh? There's a private parking, but I said we can't. The police always go through here all the time when. When we go, when we call them, they always the go cop, through here. Wait, 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 the cop told you to go over here? No, the guy, the security guy right there. Oh. Done now. Oh. You're done, Solomon? Solomon's done. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, hey, why, when we call the police, why do they have to come park here, though? Why do they always do that? It's too far to go over there. Over here. Yeah, that, so the security yeah. told me to leave, though. That's like, like he can't be private property. Uh, it wasn't, well, talk, find something my friend protects him, though, you know? Talk to a at the soul, uh, what the hell does this person say? What's happening? That extra, extra thing. Hey, like I said, you the can't pull that off. And then if they, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Got to run over Danny. Look at this guy. We got the biggest cop right here, DOA. Is it here? I'm a cool guy. Yeah! Hey, what's up, my man? How you feeling? How you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be retired. 
Look at their faces. They literally look like a tie. He decided to come here, huh? That's right. DOA interrupted his break and came to La Poubelle. The film crew looks goofy. They've never yeah. seen a DOA. That's right, my little one. They look very stunned, and Streets is laughing his ass off. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? Doesn't he hop around Malibu every day? Who? Uh, exactly. Does he? Yeah, something like that. See that or fig. <laughs> You'll be scared of my people gun. <laughs> DOA started La Poubelle. <laughs> the look on their face. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Knocks over a phone, no shoes on. <laughs> it's crazy. The band is breaking down. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Oh my god. Oh, I needed this. <laughs> This is the exact opposite of like UCLA. There was nothing funny over there. Yeah, this is just this is literally more of a comedy show. Oh my god! He's literally crying. Look at his eyes. Look at his face. Especially that one. He was just silent, eyes bugging out of his head. Someone said start giving him a foot massage and say we do this every day. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly though, nobody put more work into shutting this place down in DOA. No one. No one. Sly Poubel, this is Francois Classic can thank him for being put out of business. Hey, if you're for <laughs> listen. <laughs> with the whole disguise, we got the meowing, we got who else can we get out here? <laughs> Ryan Borland doing the <laughs> on the top of the van. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Some peace signs in front of the camera. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh. What happened? <laughs> 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 Why are you guys laughing at me, huh? Not laughing at you at all. I'm not laughing at you. So who should, who started the protest here at La Poubelle? You did. Yeah, I came. I was the first one. You were. And so they're hurting right now. He went in there, said there was 15 people in there on a Friday night at nine 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 o'clock. They should be jumping. So who shut this place down more than anybody? You did. You did. That's a fact. That is a fact. This is for the cops. <laughs> 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 
Perfect for the pigs. What the hell? That's for the pigs. Yeah, this is for the freaking for the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I would do uh, you gonna be around tomorrow? Okay. He's like, nah, fuck it, I don't want to come back out here. We have already another shoot for tomorrow, but that's what we have to see if you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got shrub Germany. Yeah. We are curious to see if the film crew will be at the event at the Blue Building tomorrow. I'll be there to see what happens. And then, thanks for your like, and if you like, you can use the thanks button below the video or one of my other donation options. I appreciate it very much.